And this is the scene here in Vigo in northwest Spain. We're at the Estadio Abanca Paraidos. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and my partner, ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk, is Stuart Robson. And we're focusing on, technically speaking, one of the best leagues in the world. I'm talking, of course, about La Liga. It's Celta Vigo against Espanyol. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. And the starting lineup for Celta Vigo. Well, they're set up to be solid defensively. Two banks of four, staying as compact as possible, but it might just leave the front to a little bit isolated. The wide players will need to break forward as quickly as possible. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. Well, it's regarded as a negative shape. If they control the middle of the park, play some expansive football, the wide players can then come in field to join the centre forward and the full backs can push on. Let's hope they do that today. And the match is underway. Iago Aspas. And the keeper got there. Delivering it, thumped clear. Suarez, teammate available. Nolito, what a save! Who's going to get on the end of it? Cleared away comprehensively. Servi. And very deftly cut out. Well, for many, the focus of attention will be on Iago Aspas. Stuart, in your opinion, what might he deliver today? Well, he's a chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. Well, there we have it, the first yellow card of the game. And he's going to have to be careful now. There's a long time to go here. Nolito, it's with Iago Aspas, good effort here, well it wasn't quite the quality of shot that we were all anticipating. Darder, Puado, showing a lot of guile there. Takes the shot. Determined defending. 
You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. Well, the card is out, and it's yellow. Yeah, it's clumsy and it's late. Definitely a yellow card. Dardair has eyes for goal and the keeper was up to the task <laughs> playing it short delivered into the area here well, let's give him credit for trying it, but the execution left a bit to be desired, Stuart. Well, I think the idea was right. Unfortunately, the skill wasn't. It's well off target in the end. Unai Nunez. Augusto Solari. Excellent vision. And a struggle to get it away properly. Foul there. Free kick awarded. Survey. Fran Beltran. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Defenders need to cover. It comes to nothing in the end. Well, he could really get at the opposition. Has a go. And the keeper got there. How about the short corner? Jay Thomas! And a goal to open the scoring. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, I don't think he did quite enough there. He got a touch on it, but in the end, he can't keep it out. He won't be happy with that. again what sort of response will we see from them now Augusto Solari excellent challenge looking confident with the ball at his feet can he make it count couldn't quite hang on and thumped away well, what a great save that was to keep them in this. May just be the impetus they need, as they certainly haven't been at their best today.
ball's gone it needs an accurate cross not all that convincing defensively it might be on for them superb stop Denis Suarez well the conditions look pretty good for the counter attack can they keep it going and pull back and no way through well it looks so promising but a goal kicked the outcome Opportunity it is. Goalkeeper getting in the way. Superb save. Well, these fans have had to be patient. Could this be the equaliser? <laughs> and he's fired over the corner. Danger averted for now, but it'll be another corner. And over comes the corner. Well, really, it had to be further away from the keeper. And with that, the first half draws to a close. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the plate. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Yangel Herrera. Darder. Really good challenge. Fran Beltran. Nolito. It's with Iago Aspas. Now can they create something? Almost found its target, but cutting it out in the end. Darder, De Tomas. Now, what can they do from here? Well, he's outplayed and outthought him. And the keeper there to catch it under no real pressure. Well, he stumped it out of there without much fuss. Playing with purpose and control. And he's made it a brace for himself. The defender's just unable to stay with him. And he's having a field day. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box, just begging someone to get on the end of it. And from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. Well, a second goal for them here. Servi. Now Nolito. They've regained possession. As the stats show us, the visitors have had most of the play and have used it really well today, particularly in the midfield areas. And I expect more of the same as the game goes on. Another. 
crisp tackling. Augusto Solari. They're just not properly looking after the ball. Well, let's get more details on the injury situation from our pitch side reporter, Jeff Shreves. From down here, it looks as though he landed actually on top of his elbow. That's why he's in so much discomfort, and that's why, of course, the bench are so concerned. Cheers, Jeff. Did well to win the ball back. Darder. That's what you call defending from the front. Possibilities here. Nolito. Now Nolito. Iago Aspas. Great work defensively. But in it goes to reduce the deficit. Still very much alive and kicking. Just look at this again. The combination play in the top third of the field was so precise, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready and now they will make the personnel change. So there we have it, 2-1. Barre. Good movement. We're racing away here. Now a decent position, and the keeper's hand does the trick. Well, just lost his focus for a brief moment, and now it'll be a corner. And time for the change now. Short corner taken. Vilhena. A chance for them to provide a test in the form of a corner. Substitution time it is here. He's driven in the corner. Oh, denied him brilliantly. Well, that would have wrapped it up, wouldn't it? What a brilliant save that is. It's a short one. Cutting the ball back. Really sound defending. Oh, magnificent from the keeper. Fantastic stop. Well, that was a good save, and it's kept them in it. But they have to do more going forward. Well, on the attack, hunting for a late equaliser here. Fed over towards the back post. Well, it wasn't quite as good as it looked when it left the boot. This could be the equaliser. 
but no, he's fluffed his lines. Good heavens. Well, that's the chance they've been looking for. The question is, will they get another one? Time is running out now. And it is substitution time at this juncture, not just from one side, but from both. Vilhena. It's with Barre. Pedrosa. Well, we are going to have a decent amount of stoppage time. Three minutes to be exact. Could cross it in here. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. Fran Beltran. Now can they turn one of these attacks into a goal? And there goes the final whistle. It's gone the wrong way as far as the home fans are concerned. Well, Derek, it was a poor result, but it was a really tight contest. Both sides had their chances, could have gone either way, but in the end, they will be disappointed. Well, we're highlighting him for a reason, Stuart. He's put in a really authoritative performance here. Well, what more could you ask for? His build-up play was clever, his movement was dynamic, and he scored a couple of goals. What a player he is.